Just tape on him to help Bulbar. I think he can pretty much go anywhere he wants. Yeah. I think his game plan is more going to be predicated around who his Doom target is during the mid game. And I think more often than not, that's just going to be Smash. Oh, mid lane. Van, he's going to be in trouble. He, he's gone. Oh, he. Oh, actually, a fairy fire wouldn't have saved him, right? Because yeah, that was no, a. No, he was trying to get what experience he can but because fear is in the area you can never really like go all in and to be honest like fear is level five and so is bulba like the amount that ej are getting is crazy wow we're gonna see if they can try and find themselves a kill here we go with that huge heavy amount of new damage for bulba but the root in time gonna hold him back from going for the masoka kill the setup blast flies through fear so looking to chase scorch up is now gonna run out ppd's actually managed to make his way down it but there's a bounty hunter on the trail of this wyvern fear looking to kill the bear and he will be able to take it down but he may pay with his life m got coming in as well fear he'll get the bed on the take down he's still still full they lost bulba as well on the back lines as van came through with an Omni slash. Level six. He got a ton of experience in gold before he died. He got the devour off. Like the everything for him at least went uh, pretty well here. Oh, mid. oh here we go with the jewel Bulba and fear again. Level six. Primal split will be up for the next engagement. But uh, still pretty low on the old mana front. Samel, he's going to look to try and come down and take the other room, but no! Man's going to pick it up and he's got the Omni slash back in. Samel trying for the TP. It's not going to be enough there. Even with the Spirit Siphon healing, it's not going to make him durable enough to survive that. that that's a huge kill for Ewolves. They need to make sure that they're getting something done. And you can see that they want to try and find something else. Here. Tier 1 on the bottom. Fear and Bulba are in the neighborhood. Bulba, of course, has got the jewel back up. Magic Missile onto Fear. Bulba healing himself. He's looking for an opening. He's coming back in. Man, Blade Fury onto Fear. The Roots out as well, but the Cold Embrace of PPD will keep Fear alive for the time being. Now the Primal Split lose. Can they finish off Fear? Looks like with a Stick Charge, Fear should be alright. For the time being, one more touch the stun. Oh, Fear! 40 HP, and they'll finally get him a smash. He gets jeweled up. They'll be able to punish the, the deep movement from the Brute. And uh, that is going to be another victory here. Oh, it's, 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 as you said, just tanking the tower, tanking every single creep wave. I mean, now they may try and give it a shot, but I think they're really there. They've got to try and proc him to jump. And now, can Van get the shutdown? He has got the Omni Slash. This could be the play, and it is. Really nicely done there by Ewolves, forcing the blink out, and there's the cutoff. But if you blink straight back, you're just guaranteed that you're going to die in that situation. Now with the uh, anti-mage off the map, Elite Walls uh, look to try to themselves some objectives of their own. The tier 1 in the mid looking very, very appealing. So Ash is going to jump in. Primal split as well. Let's see who they go for. He's focusing on PPD. PPD drops the Winter's Curse onto Van. There and his owner starting to beat down the Doom as well onto this Juggernaut Samael. Now coming out with the Exorcism goes. Jewel from Bulba. Good to find the kill onto Van. Can he get himself the bonus damage? No, he doesn't get the Jewel win, but he still gets the kill afterwards. They'll find themselves the Juggernaut and EG, not done yet, looking on to Smash, he's out of mana, out of luck as well, it's going to be a second one in this team fight, very very nicely done there by the side of EG. Be super quick, we already got Midas, we can use Bounty Hunter track as well to kind of keep our window of opportunity open a bit longer. They are looking for Aoi here. Yeah, let's see if they can do it again. They managed to outplay him last time. Can they do it again? And yep. it says the same trick. I mean, if it. it ain't broke, don't fix it. Force out the blink, jump in with the Omni Slash. Just see how they want to try and execute this one. The bear coming forward. They're already EG, ready to press into the base. Aoi heads up to the high ground, and here we go. Look for the tier 3 exorcism coming out as well. That's the answer from Elite Wars. How do they stop this advance here from EG? Wave of Terror. Shannon's knocked down the arm and Smash now jumps in, but it's straight away. Bulba gets the draw to Smash it all. The swap will be there, but he's been doing nothing well. And that's the Brewmaster gone. Doesn't get the ultimate out of the fight and now bad on the back lines of the fight. He used the Omni Slash, did manage to bring down the Wyvern, but Aoi just forcing the jug away. He doesn't care about that. He's just going to go and join the rest of EG as they push into the base now. Without the Brew, without the Jug's Omni Slash, this defense is going to be infinitely harder. Aoi still has that Aegis. And they're getting themselves a tier 3 at least. It will be the knife oh. on the Soka. And it looks like EG don't want to stick around for more. In fact, Fear could be in a bit of trouble. The drums are popped in the first hit route. They get healed up by Bulba, but 
Is it going to be quite enough here? Ewo, Emgod and Van chasing him down. Fear will buy up as much as he can here. Investing all his gold. And uh, will finally pay the price with his life. Still outside the base. Now, he, now he's going to move back in. This is him out on some mail. And he was, was the plan. Just laying down the tracks at the moment, Emgod. The Radiant Spare doing a little bit in terms of pushing them back. The Savage Roar certainly will. But uh, now he just walks back in. Not too phased at the moment. Maybe thinking about trying to take down the bear itself. But I think this is the thing about Aoi, of course, doesn't really have that much damage on this anti mage with this build at this point of the game. It will be rooted, but the heals there, they've managed to take down the ranged racks. Now Ely was with the drone pot. They want to try and fight Smash. That's going to be the primal split for this one. We'll see if he can catch anyone out. He may need the bear to hit a root. Let's see if he gets it onto Samael. Samael turning around, laying down the summon. Nice silence onto two of them on the back of this one. And Smash coming through still with the ult. They managed to get the doom out onto Van. The Winter's Curse as well for PPD. Van trying to tick down. He's going to get swamped back. And now Bulba with the jewel controlling Masoko on the back of this fight here. They found the Juggernaut. They're going to find Masoko as well on the Vengeful Spirit. The bear is going to be taken down here as well. Almost certainly an hour. He's lost the Aegis, but still, they find themselves two kills, and EG, the back of that. Three, actually. No Juggernaut for about 30 seconds. There's just... Okay, I actually think the biggest problem with Evil's lineup is the fact that they are all physical damage dealers. Like, they have no magical damage whatsoever. Oh, a bit of trouble, but the silence is again for Samael. How he jumps in, takes down Smash. Smash gone once more on the Brewmaster. Shuriken bouncing through. EG. And they are, it's taking them a bit of a while to take down this Rax. And they're going to still stick about. And they get it here. They should be able to find it. And the question is, can Elite Bulls punish it? The Root sound to Howie. A few more hits. He's been magic himself with the cold embrace from PPD. Topping him back up. Jewel from Bulba on the sidelines. On to Vanny's sidestep as well. But Van, oh no! Bulba's going to be a first and down. And Van wins the Jewel. Now with the only slash. But Howie gets the blink off his time. The magic missile follows there from Masoku though. And they'll find themselves too. This defuser blade. Jug chasing down more. Finds himself a third PPD. Hiding in the tree line. These are track kills, by the way. Absolutely. We're going to see a lot of gold going back the way of elite walls here with another kill for the side they did lose the racks in the mid lane but they end up doing a serious amount of damage to eg's members oh it's kind of like eg are also killing the tower while simultaneously forcing e wolves to decide if they want to try to go for roche and mid is pushing in so now e wolves have to just say all right we're either going to kill roche or we're going to go back to base Jump forward though, they've got the vision with that observer. They see PPD hanging around on the high ground. He'll get himself uh, live here with the cold embrace. There's going to be the jewel buff now. Moving him onto the high ground. Finally, he's stuck on the cliff. He'll actually be able to Omni Slash down off it. Ends up killing Bulbar on the Legion Commander, Samael. With the exorcism coming around, but Fear being rooted up. He's in a lot of trouble. The silence from Samael coming free. They're trying to save this Fear Doom. They might just be able to know, but the root comes through again. Man now on a killing spree, though. He leaned up three members of the side of EG. They're looking to find themselves the fourth and Samael in trouble. Ow, he's coming. Can he turn this fight around? He's got to get himself out. An elite walls finding themselves four from the side of EG and EG finding nothing in return. And as you said, this is pretty much the worst situation. Could be really scary for EG. A, a team with a lone druid and a healing ward can kill your base at any point. I see that you get it. Van is the one to lead the way. Here we go, blinking in on the slash straight away. On to fear the cold embrace. Will keep the doom alive for the time being. Even the Arctic burns up the high ground and Samel gets the exorcism out of fear. The rooted up the Princess Curse coming down onto Van. Trying to swap him away to minimize the amount of time they're going to be being down on him, but he's still being doomed up. Will go down, but he's got the ages. Back for round two. Owie just getting in with the right click. The side of Ewo is falling very, very low. Ewo, he's going to drop. This is double kill for Smash though as he found himself the Wyvern as well. Van, can they kill him? Bulba, he's going to do it. Wins the duel. Double kill for Samael. Masoku getting absolutely mashed to pieces by Aoi. And it's his triple kill for Samael. This time, the exorcism doing a hell of a lot of work in the fight. Still dies to the same gank that he died to. So that, that particular thing is just nice movement from Ewolves. But I, I do like the build quite a bit. Bottom lane, Elite Wolves looking to make it go, they'll blink in, but here's the jewel from Bulba and Van, is he going to get taken down to the Invisible Blade there, but he gets swapped out just in time. 
which is cursed from PvD onto the Soku. The Venge is going to get beaten down upon. And now they're trying to move in for more. Aoi rooted up on the back of this one. They have lost PvD, but Fear continue to chase. They'll get the kill up to smash. Jam a true side hitting the deck as a two for one. The Bear only just getting itself away. And meanwhile, in the tree line, they've got the eyes onto the Juggernaut. He's looking to try and find Bulba, but the controls there. Samael Yules is him up. The side brings him down. And EG finding themselves a three for one trade. And again, I mean, Ban, he just. Uh, we can see at the moment still Fear just positioning himself around the pit. As you said, still that very important area where they cannot allow Elite Wolves to get a chance to go and go for an Aoi. Well, he's going to close this round to smash. Smash will be doomed, but Masoku swaps him out. He could the Winter's Curse and now the silence for some else. On to three, he's coming in with the Ghost and bursting down from the Mana Void. Aoi finds them the second one and now Ewo on the retreat. EG looking to move in for more. The Bear being beat down upon by the Ghost. Aoi takes it down for the 300 bounty. And Ewo and Smash. And they keep themselves alive and they have got the Jugs healing water helping them out but Aoi jumps forward. Bulba's there with the jewel. Ewo fairly tanky. Can they actually kill him during this jewel? Yes they can. It's another victory for Bulba now. 66 dollar damage. The silence from Samael laid down onto the Brumar to smash back to base for a good 57 seconds. And EG, they're just going to go for the game. There'll be a buyback from Ewo but GG is called. And in a game where Elite Wolves certainly seem to have their moments at the beginning, it just got to the point where EG went at a very early state. And Bounty Hunter is a fantastic hero. I actually think that the the picks that they had 